Mm-mm. me white as snow good afternoon everyone good afternoon look hi hi good afternoon everybody girl let me tell so I want to tell y'all, last night I was laying up in the bed watching Beloved, and then I just went to sleep, and I started dreaming all kinds of shit. Like, I was dreaming all... Where the remote to the fucking TV? Let me be careful, because I'm naked up under these covers. Naked. I don't want to be, I don't want to be exposed. What's going on, one Apu Shakua? What's up, babe? What's going on? So I was sitting up here watching this thing. I want to, okay, I got to finish telling y'all a few things, right? So I was watching Beloved, and I went to sleep on Beloved. I was dreaming all kinds of shit. Like, I just was dreaming all kinds of weird-ass shit. Weird. And dreaming about people that I don't even dream about. I was like, oh, no, this is kind of uh. Then I got up watching Teddy Pendergrass. What happened to Teddy Pendergrass? And I was like, oh, okay. So he had the car accident and the trans girl was in the car with him. Oh. Okay. Got it. Mm. I said, girl, the trans girl has been in the midst of stuff, honey, for a long, for a very long time. Very long. What is this? The trans girl has been in the midst. You say you didn't know that about Teddy Pendergrass? Girl. I had knew that. Why did somebody tweet and say I need some head? Get off of here. No. The trans girl has been around. Oh, okay. This is what this is on TV now. The Green Knight. I'm finna close the windows in here. I'm leaving it at New York City shortly in a few hours. Hi, Ice Cream Fantasy Boy. Hi. You said your mother was heartbroken over Teddy Pendergrass. You said people love y'all most just denied. Right. And so I'm like, okay. So the the ch so the, the so the trans girl was in the car with him when she had when he had the accident. Ah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. You say why didn't I come to Brooklyn? I came to the, I went to um Melba's last night and I went to um Bevy's house. I was over Bevy's house for a little while and I saw Ty. Hey Kayla baby, let me add you as a moderator. And I went over um Hey, Hannah, I love you. Uh, Vendette Jones, you said he was just giving her a ride. Mm. Sounds familiar to me. Same with Eddie Murphy. It all sounds so familiar. Eddie Murphy said the same thing. He was giving the girls a ride, too. And then magically, that one of them girls that he was giving a ride to was supposed to go on a show and talk about it, honey. And she magically fell out a window by accident. And she magically fell out of a damn window off a fire escape or something. I was like, oh, dear God, Father God. You say you love to have me on your podcast? You got to email me, honey. You know, let her response to all the emails. Mm-hmm. You say, isn't that what they always say? They're just giving a ride. Yeah. And he was doing about three, four times. Eddie Murphy. Three or four times. Since this, since we talking about Trans Awareness Week. 
You said Shakamar was her name. Which name is this? Thank you, Big Rube ATL. Shalamar. Girl. Oh, thank you, Big Big Hambone. Yeah, and it would listen. It, let me tell you something. With Eddie Murphy, it was about three or four more rides after that, and he was just giving him a ride home. It was three or four more times. I said, ooh. Sure, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't got nothing to do with none of that stuff. I don't really give a fuck about that. Y'all can sit around here. Y'all can sit around here and play them games all day and act like they do me. I tell y'all this shit all the motherfucking time. Y'all can sit around here and act all day like the men's is innocent when it comes down to us. Y'all can play them games all day. All day. The real ones know. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? You something the baddest? Thank you, boo. The real bitches know. And I'm not talking about my trans girls. I'm talking about the real motherfucking goddamn, the real, the, 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 the cisgender women that know, know. The ones that want to play crazy and be like, well, he ain't, he, mm-mm. Quit playing with the, quit, quit fucking off and playing that it, shit like them niggas is innocent. As many bitches as them niggas fuck on y'all and have babies and shit on y'all and do all that kind of fuck foolery shit on y'all motherfucking ass. As many nuts as they skeet across the room with other bitches, you, you, you mean to tell me that you don't believe, you can't believe that he done did some shit with us? Y'all got to stop that. It's going into a new, it's going into a new era. The girls is out here. The girls been out here. When I watched that shit with the Teddy Pendergrass, I was like, oh, okay. He was just giving her a ride. Well, what the fuck she was walking for? <laughs> what in the fuck was she walking for? God damn it. Huh? Why was she walking? Y'all got to cut that bullshit out. He innocent. He he innocent. He ain't mean that. And he didn't know. He didn't know because look how, look. I'm going to say it again and then I'm going to get off of this. I'm going to watch it again. You say you have to see her whole interview. How many girls you think that have been paid by the people to tell, to tell, to tell the, tr the truth? How many girls you think that have been paid by the people to tell the truth? Because we don't want images tarnished and shit like that. Because it's just a tarnishing thing. Once the men be once once the men get caught with the girls, it's just a tarnishing thing. It's tarnishing, bitch. It's actually a good thing for the men, bitch. That's a real nigga right there. That's telling you I like what I like. I like you and her too. God damn it. So what it is? But I'm gonna say this. And I'm going on about my motherfucking business. In 2023, I don't want to hear none of you motherfucking people say that you don't, that he was fooled. Because every time I turn around, y'all always talking about, you can tell. Look at the hands. Look at the feet. Look at the face. Look at the neck. See the Adam's apple. Look at the fingers. Look at the torso. Look at the ham bone, the neck bone, the toe bone, the eyebrows, the ears. Look at the fingers. Look at this. So with all of this stuff that y'all see on every last one of us, how in the fuck is y'all still letting a motherfucker tell you he ain't know nothing when every day you can tell when every day you motherfucking hoes can tell. Oh, ain't nobody fool. I know what y'all is. I knew what you was when I see when you open your mouth. I knew I heard your voice. I, 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 I. So I don't want to hear no more of that shit from you hoes going forward in the next 
century. I want you to just hush your mouth and say it is what the fuck it is. I want you to hush your mouth and say it is what it is. I was talking to my sister last night and I said, listen, because my sister said, well, I don't think a man that likes you could like me. I was like, why? Why do you think that? Why do you think that a man that likes you won't like me? Or, or likes me that won't like you. He's a man. And if a man likes women, what makes it wrong for him to find the girls attractive? What's wrong with that? I don't understand it. Is there a specific type? So you have to be a specific type of man to... Like a, a a trans woman is you? Do you have to be a specific type? It's just like, so does he have to be? And when we tell y'all, this goes for women and men included. When we tell y'all that men are not gay, that like us, why is it so treacherous for you to believe that? I just don't understand. He's a man. If men find ass titties. Lips, because I have brothers, I have cousins, they're all men, and there are some women that I do not find attractive, right? But they find something attractive about those women that I don't find attractive. Look at her lips, you see her eyes, look at her toenails. The same thing that y'all be over here talking about something that you could tell. That you could tell that we what we is by our hands and feet and toe. That's the shit them niggas be looking at. My brothers, my one of my motherfucking kids that's a straight man. I call him one of my kids. He used to tell me all the time. Every time he used to run across a fucking woman, and I used to be like, "Damn, every, you want to have every every living woman? You want to fuck every woman that walking on earth like?" I don't find this woman attractive. He, and he used to say, but bitch, look at her. Look how the, see how her back curve in. Like, I'm like, so everything. So everything you find. And so this helps me in my, in my thesis. This helps me to try to break this shit down for y'all motherfucking people that be in complete denial. Men find men that like women. This is the difference between a fag, a faggot, and a nigga, a real nigga. Cause a faggot gonna find everything wrong with a woman. I'm gonna say it again for the peoples that's in the back. A faggot is gonna find everything wrong with a woman because. He's not interested in a woman. So he going to find everything. And so even some of them, them niggas out there who, who y'all be thinking real niggas that be reading women to the flow, that's a faggot. Because ain't no real nigga reading no, I don't, I know real niggas. And ain't no real nigga reading nothing about no motherfucking woman. When a man resorts to finding Shit wrong with a bitch. He got homosexual tendencies. I don't give a fuck what you say. Because I don't be around niggas who motherfucking find everything right with an ugly bitch. And I just been like, wow. And me being a faggot was over there like, well, you don't see this bitch. What's, you know, this bitch is, that bitch look like a beast. But no. If you if you turn your head to the side, look at how her eyelashes curl up like that. I was like, nigga, what? I was like, nigga, what? Eyelashes make your dick make your dick go with this bitch. Okay, got it. So when I try to break this shit down for my cunts, 
Because I don't say the other word no more. Because y'all okay with cunts. So when I try to break it down for the cunts. And I tell the cunts. Cunts, listen. If a man really likes women. He will definitely find a trans woman attractive. It's, it's impossible for him not to. Because he will find something good on your ugly ass. So why do you think that, because 99.9% of the time, the trans woman is trying to get herself up to a level of perfection because we know that initially we were born genetically male. And so therefore, we are really trying to, you know, move crevices and pieces and stuff around on the puzzle to recreate the puzzle. Not to recreate the puzzle to actually be you, but to recreate the puzzle to be a better version or a beautiful version of this version that we want to see of ourselves, not particularly you. So I really want to talk. I'm really talking to the women because some, some woman is going to take this and they're going to share it with their friend. I'm really talking to the women out there who always screaming out, you want to be me. You want to be me. No, I want to be the beautiful version of me that I see on the inside. I want that to manifest outside. And so, therefore, I'm saying this stuff to cover the, all the bases. All the bases. And the basis is a man, a Teddy Pendergrass, a Eddie Murphy, or this, who have all been caught just giving a ride to the girls. They are allowed to find the girls attractive. Because they are heterosexual men. They are heterosexual men. And if they are heterosexual men, they are going to find transgender women attractive too. It's just what it's going to be. And I did see Jess Hilarious say that somebody went in her inbox. And and I love Jess. I love Jess Hilarious to the floor. Like, no shade, I do. I love her to the floor. I just really want people to stop saying, well, the man, you know, I really wish that her words was a little bit, like her choice of words, I wish it was a little bit, little bit better. Because... She said the man thought that she was a that thought she was a transgender and wanted to fly her out. But then she then, she, then then they all reverted back to saying, Well, he thought I was a man. If the man wanted to fly out a man, he would have flew out a man. He would have flew out a man. There are men that like the the men that like all of us, because we are all women to the men. This is what you're not going to get the man to untake out of his mind. You're never going to be able to make him peel that off of his mind that we not. we Y'all going to say that we not women because, you know, we don't have. Some of us may not have SRS. Some of us do. But y'all going to say that because you're not going to allow us to live under that umbrella because of the genetics. And that's okay. It's all right. I'm okay with you. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to identity and it comes down to attraction, if men are attracted to women, it's a possibility that they are going to be attracted. It's more than a possibility. They're going to be attracted to trans women too. And that's just something that you got to live with on this earth. I say this again to so many women. Men do not belong to you. Men belong to the streets. Men is for everybody. And I say it to the men. Bitches don't belong to you. Bitches belong to the streets. Bitches is for everybody. So, meaning that we don't have ownership over no gender at all. We don't have ownership over that. We don't have any ownership over men are not specifically created or not specifically yours. Because the Bible told you that Adam and Eve was together. 
men are not specifically created and this are your like this is mine i'm a woman and men is mine and anything that anything outside them y'all men these are men no those are men those are men it is not these are our men those are yours no those are men And again, I'm going to tell you this again. I do not believe that every man is trans attracted. I do not believe that every man is a homosexual. I do not believe that every man is, is going to be with a man. I don't believe this. However, if he is a man and he has a penis and he is in an upright walking in a straight position if the dick get hard there's a possibility that he can fuck and that's just what it is so do not lose any sleep any brain cells any breath over this type of shit If a dick get hard, all it does is point in the direction it want to go. It's like a bullet. It don't have no fucking eyes. That's just what it is. And I try to tell y'all so much. Like, girl, stop this. Ladies, stop this. You look so bad doing this. You look bad. Doing this. Stop it. Stop it. And even, even in the area with the trans girls in our community, we have a lot of trans chasers that are is in the community that just trace after that chase after every one of us, every size, every color, every function, every this. It does not matter how much face feminization we have. It does not matter how much body we got or how much body we don't have or how beautiful we are or how beautiful we aspire to be. If it's a dogish, roguish, it's going to work. If it's a dogish, roguish nigga, it's going to work. Whatever she got will work for him. <laughs> Whatever she has will work for him. I've learned this too. No matter how pretty, how sickening, how passable, how this, whatever. Once you've gotten into a situation with a man that, that is roguish and doggish and, and, and seeks out every girl, it's no different then, then when they are out, when they find everything attractive about every fucking girl, you just have to have that solid confidence in yourself. Maybe that this is not the man for you. And that not only is this not the man for you, that you are enough. I just had to get this stuff off of my you say, so if women had no more children, how long would the world substantially survive? How, may I ask this question, and I would like a really great answer. How is the existence of gay people and trans people stopping bitches from fucking and getting pregnant? I'd like to know this. I know somebody giving birth right now and I'm still here. I know somebody fucking and sucking right now in a bedroom, right now in this very hotel that I'm in, getting nutted in, blasted in right now, and I am still a trans person. I know somebody at home in your city, in your neighborhood, on your block, in your street. How is our existence stopping population? I'd like a I'd like a, de a definitive answer on that. We gay 
trans and all that under the umbrella people are a small percentage, very small percentage in on this earth. So ask, answer me this question. How in your logical thinking are we going to stop Recreation by being here. These are the questions when you guys stand on your soapbox and you start talking about how we are a detriment to families and to communities and to this. When you stand on your soapbox and you start preaching these sermons, these false sermons to people. This is what you need to ask yourself. How is T.S. anybody, transsexual anybody, gay Peter, gay Paul, gay Matthew, gay Mark, gay Luke, gay John, faggot Jonah, faggot Mark, how are they stopping them niggas next door from fucking them bit, them, them, them thought ass bitches from Ryan Dick's and and getting blasted in and, and 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 before it was illegal running down there to the abortion clinic to get the baby sucked up out of them how are we stopping that how has my existence or any one of the fags trans or anything how is any of that existence stopping recreations I'd like to know I'd like to know out of one out one out of every six houses might be a fag in there what about the other five of the motherfuckers Ah, huh? my bro- my mother has two other sons. My brother has children. My existence did not stop the the lineage. My mother's lineage from continuing. What? How? Y'all sit right there. You let them Trump people put that shit in your brain and all that kind of stuff. And those DeSantis. See, everybody worried about Trump. Coming back to the bitch, you hoes better be scared of DeSantis. You better be afraid, very afraid of DeSantis. Because when DeSantis get in that motherfucker, because oh, yes. The Republican Party is most definitely going to be rallying behind DeSantis. It's, it will not be Trump, bitch. Trump is just a pawn to throw us off. It will most definitely be DeSantis. So, if your bigotry... And hatred and and disdain for homosexual people and transgender people get you because they're going to run on those campaigns. Remember, we are 1% of the population. 1%. We are 1% of the population. So... When you see those people running on those campaigns and stuff, they're running on all of the hatred, the bigotry. They're running on, running on all the stigma. They're running on all of that. Like I just saw Trump say something the other day when he was up there talking about saying, oh, I'm not going to let women, men, and I don't care who likes it. Because, you know, again, like I was saying about Jess, who I really love Jess Hilarious. Again, instead of calling them trans people, we are back to men being in women's sports, men, men being in women's sports and everybody just screaming in the room. It's kind of like when the pastor starts speaking, all you motherfucking adulterers, liars, cheaters, murderers, 
that be sitting up in the pool pit thinking that God don't, excuse me, in the church, thinking that God don't see your motherfucking ass. All you bitches that be sitting there thinking that God don't see your ass. And as soon as the pastor started preaching about, I can't stand the sissies in the church. I don't want the gays in here. And then y'all hoes start kick shouting and shit. Kick shouting. You don't forget about all the murder and shit you done did. And all the cheating you do on your taxes and on your grocery bill and on your shit, everything you do in the house, you done cheated, lied, and, and told. The book says that the only thing that God hates in this world, hates, H-A-T-E-S, hates, is a liar. And so you forget about all the lies you done told, all the shit you done stole, you fucking thief, and all of that. Soon as they say something about a homosexual, y'all is up there screaming and running around. You can pass the offering plate 65 fucking times. Hi, my baby Amber. You can pass the offering plate 65 times after that sermon. So... I know this live seems like it's all over the place, but it's all rooted in one thing. Stop believing the foolishness. Stop believing the foolishness. Stop believing it. It's a lot of foolishness that y'all motherfucking people be believing. Stop believing the foolishness. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Stop believing about he didn't know. Stop believing that you can tell. Stop believing that bitch that fucking we are the enemy and we going to stop population. We going to stop recreation. I'm laying in my bed right now. I ain't fucking nobody. I ain't had sex with nobody. Laying in my bed watching shit on TV. I'm guarantee you in this same hotel I'm in right now, it's six, seven to ten bitches that's getting pregnant right now, and I'm still in this hotel. You say, what did Jess Hilarious say or do? Um, I was watching, she was on Don't Call Me White Girl podcast, and she said that um, a, 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 a celebrity slid into her DM and said that a man, um, that they thought that she was a man, a, a celebrity thought that she was a man and wanted to fly her out to fuck him. And, you know, again, the proper term is possibly he thought that she was a trans woman because trans women are not men. We're trans women not men we're trans women and I just really wish that it would be a better selection of terms and you know words and stuff like that especially when we occupy and this is why I'm trying to get better because I'm not perfect I fuck up and say some shit that ain't right but this is why you know I try to make sure that I when I'm occupying spaces that have large like large platforms or whatever that I, I try to make sure I properly you know I say that the correct thing because and, and the correct because that is trans women are not men we're not men we're not men you know we might have been born genetically male but we're not men we're not men because if we are men you need to worry about the population controlled in. <laughs> um, you said, do I feel like that don't call me white girl should have stepped up with the correction in that moment? Um, I have to watch the episode because I don't know if she did. I don't know. I really like Mona. I really, I, re I love Mona. And I really love Jess too. I, I love Jess too. You know, I just, I don't know. <laughs> 